Hey people, hey everybody, my VR friends. As usual, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, uh, we continue. This episode will be about the lead pages and we will build actually a landing page and the aim of this video episode that I want to prove you all that you can create just in 20 minutes your personal landing page with ease of use. So, this video will be about the lead pages. Uh, watch this video till the end. I'm waiting for your comments, I'm waiting for your likes and and let's get down to our work directly right now. So, to start with, why do I like lead pages? Actually, it has an impressive library of customizable templates, and lead pages has a huge library of editable templates, which you can see it just directly right now, for uh, creating a landing page and other types of content. Of course, it has a conversion tools. In addition to creating pages, you can also create pop-ups in other boxes and then add them to your website, including WordPress websites to generate more leads. Um, uh, it has cool modern page uh, editor. Whether you want to start from scratch and create your own unique landing page or a customizable one of templates, the drag and drop builder makes the process as straightforward as it could be. Split testing, uh, this uh, is another, I would say, advantage of the lead pages because all of the lead pages have been built for high conversions, but you can also run your own tests to see which your designs get the best response from your audience audience to remove all the guesswork from creating effective landing pages and it has integration options. So lead pages integrates with a wide range of third party services including payment processors, email marketing tools and social media advertising platforms to name just a few. But let's start uh, our video, our work with the templates. So actually it provides us many templates. These templates actually are very modern, they are standard, but you know you may may redesign them and make your personal landing page as you uh, imagine it, so it depends on. For example, we have event registration, checkout page, and let's check the preview how it looks like. And so uh, we have the desktop version, we have a version for uh, mobile phones, so it has um, Okay, it doesn't uh, actually have one section. So basically, this is template which consists of one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. So basically, it has six uh, sections. And if you think that six sections, um, actually, you want to have five, six, or seven sections for your landing page for your product. Maybe your part of this actual template is for you. You may try, of course. And actually, that's how it looks like for um, actually on mobile devices. Yeah. Uh, so it's pretty cool, I would say. You will play around with all uh, the content. Uh, so actually, this is standard template. You have to know it. But uh, you may redesign it. And uh, my advice for you to have for your personal content, maybe the portfolio of your products or services, or you may create uh, uh, pictures, or you may find them on the internet. So uh, all the widgets, all the content is yours. So basically, uh, if you feel uh, um, the, this template with your uh, actual widget, so actually it will be different template. Uh, so we will start with um, this template, clicking directly to the bottom of use this page. The next I need to uh, give the name to this page, to be honest, I don't know, let it be, hmm, let me think about, uh, about it just a second. So um, nothing special, I propose you to put a name, event registration page and continue. So we will work with the editor. So basically I adore this template because it's um, intuitive. Uh, this template is user friendly. Um, you don't need to know um, the rules, the settings. Um, I mean, the rules, uh, how to change some settings uh, we're working with this editor. So basically, everything is very simple, just right here. This is the first section. By the way, we have a lead meter. So basically, this lead meter shows us it rates uh, the template. And now it shows that it's excellent. Yep. 
right here we have actually tools and uh, the first tool is uh, responsible for uh, our landing page um, layout yeah it shows us how many sections we have so we have one two three four five six okay we have seven and uh, not six section um, and um, you can rename this section yeah let's start from the first section uh, and what I can say uh, basically right here we have um, actually a background but we have color overlay I don't like the color overlay so basically that is um, I would say that uh, <laughs> background if you would like you may change this background yep and uh, I will do the same uh, because for example uh, you know, you need to make uh, your landing page different than the template you have on the landing pages. So that's what I told you about. You need to change each element which is actually in the template. So I will upload uh, a picture from my laptop, but you have the opportunity just to buy premium p uh, images. They are not for free. Or you may upload your personal portfolio, photos, uh, pictures from the other stocks so it depends on and I will find a picture appropriate picture for uh, the background of course so first of all this is my picture of background and the other thing I would love to add color overlay and let it be uh, this one yeah but I need to make it okay just right here so I need to add it to this color and it should be directly maybe okay uh, okay kind of this one and um, the next I would love to make it I would say more transparent yeah so once again I need to make this color transparent and let it be just okay so I guess it looks more interesting yeah okay and right now we may play around with all um, with all the content. First of all, uh, you need to change um, the fonts. Let it, it may be a Roboto one. I mean the fonts of the headings and others, uh, or it may be Open Sans. Um, it may be. <laughs> Lato, for example, yeah. Uh, don't forget to play around with the colors and colors may be different. Yep, it depends on. Uh, so it may be red color, but don't, to be honest, I don't like red color. What if we will make it? Mm -hmm. Kind of. Okay, you don't see it. Mm. Also, you don't see it. What if it will be okay? So you know, uh, it needs some time to understand what color it should be. But if you want to make cool landing page, so it should be interesting first of all. Okay. Okay, well, no summit, but to be honest, I don't like. Mm, okay. Uh. Okay, in my opinion, I decided to make it uh, actually a black color. The other. Um, the other fonts, the other tags, you may make them also, uh, I would say, black. So it depends on, you may make them black, gray, uh, how you see it, how you feel it. Uh, the other thing, actually, clicking directly to the register today, basically here we have CDA bottom. You may change it or just save all the uh, settings. In my case, I would like to change it to, um, I would say, the red color. And the last one, well, I would love to change I would love to make it um, <laughs> just right here in this place so basically that's how you should uh, work uh, with uh, all the widgets just to make actually uh, this landing page different uh, than uh, you have actually in a template yep so uh, what's next actually here we have a section about 
some all the content uh, all the images so you can change them replace them to the other ones and I will show you all so um, I will find some pictures and I'm gonna change them uh, as mine for example uh, personal content yeah because I want to change everything I want to uh, make actually uh, my landing page different than the basic template so actually I found some picture I replaced them to you that, that I consider it so that they are appropriate yeah uh, basically at the section about if we are talking uh, about a design yeah uh, tags gallery speakers everything you can change just right here but about talking about a section style yeah, we may change actually the color uh, and you just need to think about what color should be uh, just like here cool interesting uh, with uh, your um, landing page yep so basically that's how it works uh, if you understand that uh, many sections and you don't need to, uh, so much so basically you can delete one of them or if you would like to add some sections for example logos yep so at the bottom of sections just directly right here click it directly to the logos yep here you just simply can drag uh, right here uh, a logos and locate logos what do you want uh, right here or just even to uh, add only one logo yep and you may delete them I mean not to delete the logo I mean replace to your personal logo and why not uh, by the way uh, I would like to add the image uh, of a logo yep so uh let it be just um okay so it may be uh this logo it depends on if you have your personal logo you can you may simply upload it uh, directly just right here so actually uh you can see that working with um uh, with uh, the lead pages is very simple and let's check the preview how it looks like uh so um uh that will be uh three versions so the desktop the tablet version and of course for mobile devices and uh, you will see how it actually looks like so right now we see that that is the desktop version so that's uh, a header which uh, I've changed actually I have redesigned it and the next section what it and and other uh, sections if you like you may change them so actually uh, it depends on and of course a logo uh, first of all I would like to show you all for your uh, mobile phones so that is how it looks like and I guess that is pretty cool uh, and of course a tablet version that's how it looks like so actually you can work with the lead pages and working with the lead pages is very simple um, and actually how much does it cost the lead pages first of all you need to know that you have 14 days for your trial period so you may register an account and start your journey to analyze uh, actually is this service um, will be uh, interesting to work with simple to work with or not yeah and of course here on lead, on lead pages uh, here you have uh, three um, types of subscription first one is uh, a standard version which costs uh, $27 per month uh, the second one is actually pro which costs $59 per month and the last one is lead pages advanced which costs $239 per month so so actually you can pay a monthly subscription or take out an annual plan with a discount according to the lead pages refund policy the company offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and you can cancel it at any time you want so lead pages standard is suitable for most new and small businesses uh, that want to avoid a large monthly expense so the pro option is a good choice if you want to accept payments directly on your landing page and require support for SMS tax campaigns and the advanced option is more suitable for larger businesses and includes a one-on-one -on -one call so um, 
I use lead pages in uh, actually a standard version and I would say the standard version will be your best friends. There are many opportunities but in pro in advanced scripture and uh, subscriptions of course there are more opportunities than in the standard one but you may start uh, your journey with the standard just to look through how it works to practice and of course tell me. So actually this is the end of our video episode and as usual I'm waiting for your comments waiting for your personal opinion what do you think about the lead pages have you tested it or not or maybe you may tell me uh, about your favorite service and maybe the next video will be about it thank you for your attention and see you in another video episode bye